Hi there, today I'm going to do a little demo painting of a blue throat. Now this is exactly the kind of habitat I'd expect to find them um, in the spring and to a lesser extent in the autumn when they're migrating through, but they're really rare and unusual here and it's very exciting to see them. Um, there aren't any around just now, so I'm going to work on a painting, a demo painting, from some sketches that I've done previously on the coast of Fife. So join me and I'll show you what I'm going to work on and how I'm going to put the painting together. Blue throats are just such special birds. There's something magical about them. And um, not just the colour, but their un kind of uh, rare appearance because they don't really breed in the UK. Just a couple of scattered um, occasional breeding records. Most of them turn up accidentally in the spring. So it's a real delight and pleasure to see one. So I've sketched out this drawing from little studies that I've done over many years and I've got them in my sketchbooks and I've done a, a outline in a sepia pencil and then put in a little bit of shadow underneath the bird to describe the shape of it. Put in the, a few of the dark points like the, the dark legs, some of the marks are in the eye and then I'm depicting it in a typical migration spot on the shoreline on a sandy pebbly shore amongst the seaweed and that's often when they come in when there are easterly winds and uh, they're accidentally kind of blown in uh, across from the continent but the blue this electric blue on the the throat of the, the adult males is just extraordinary and I've, I've got this really bright paint uh, by a company called Schminke and it's a fantastic turquoise colour, iridescent in its quality and I've used that as a, a pure colour and then I'm working in with little bits of white to edge out the feathers. When they arrive in the spring the feathers are very worn and it's just a slightly kind of textured, almost tatty feel to the edges of them and I'm trying to convey that in the little bits of detail but all the time I'm aware not to put in too much detail and there's a point at which I have to stop before I overwork it and then a few final brush strokes and signing the work and then it's completed. I've not done a finished painting done a proper completed study of Blue Throat ever so this is a first for me and I'm really delighted with it and I hope it does the bird justice. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little video and tune in to see some more. Thank you.